May 10, 2012. February 2014. A few months before my 40th birthday. 14 years ago, I suffered a brain aneurysm. I actually consider myself to be one of the lucky ones. My name is Sandra, and I'm proud to be an AVM survivor. Hi, my name is Jamie Moore. I'm 25 years old. I grew up in Needham, Massachusetts, but I currently live in Wakefield, and I actually consider myself to be one of the lucky ones. I'm lucky that when I went to my doctor this past March and complaining about chronic headaches, I'm lucky that she sent me to go get an MRI, and through that MRI, the lab techs were able to see that I did have a brain aneurysm. And I'm lucky that I was referred to amazing surgeons at Beth Israel in Boston who were able to put a clip on my brain aneurysm and I had no post-op complications after a five-hour surgery and I was home after about 48 hours. And if there's one thing that I really want to get out here is that it is possible to detect a brain aneurysm before it ruptures. And I hope that people take their symptoms, and doctors too, take symptoms such as chronic headaches seriously because you never know what it could be from. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie Taylor and I am an AVM and aneurysm survivor. May 10, 2012, I woke up with a terrible headache that medication wasn't even beginning to touch. Um, by that evening, I was vomiting, I was slurring my speech, I was walking with a limp, my left arm and my left hand was not working, and uh, I was disoriented. My boyfriend called 911 immediately and got me the help that I needed. So what I want to leave you guys with is the warning signs of a stroke, which essentially is what I had. If you can remember the acronym FAST, F is for um, face drooping or facial numbness on one side, A is for arm weakness or arm numbness on one side. S is for speech, if you notice someone having difficulty speaking or slurred speech. And T is for time. It's absolutely crucial to get help for someone having a stroke in time. Call 911 immediately. You can save a life, just like someone saved mine. A few months before my 40th birthday, I was driving to work, and all of a sudden I started feeling terrible. I got a really sharp pain in my eye, and my neck and my shoulders um, were really stiff and I felt like I was going to fall over. And I was driving at the time, but thankfully I was in traffic. Um, I was taken to the hospital by my sister and that's when we found out I had a brain aneurysm. And I was like, what is that? And they said it was blood on your brain and it's not supposed to be there. So I ended up being in the hospital for a couple of weeks. At, in the ICU and then I was in the rehab for a few months and you know there are deficits and problems but you adjust and you survive. I'm Felicia Harrison. 14 years ago I suffered a brain aneurysm. There was one day I had the worst, I mean the worst headache I could possibly have. That headache put me on my back, literally. I, uh, the aneurysm was behind my left eye. Uh, it pressed against uh, my nasal cavity, which caused me to have a sinus, and, and you know, the sinus flare up. But that time, I could not speak, I could not think, I could not walk. I, I mean, I could not basically breathe. I felt like I had to to vomit. I had I was nauseated. Um, there were you know spots in 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 the sky, like in my in my eyes. Um, and then all of a sudden, left eye, I just went totally blind in the left eye and passed out. It was a seven millimeter aneurysm behind my left eye. I take 
med medication now for the migraines. Um, even though I had the surgery, I take medication now for migraines. I take medication for the post-traumatic stress disorder that I've acquired since having um, the surgery. Uh, I was also diagnosed as a, a manic depressive afterwards because I did go into somewhat of a depressive state because at that time I was 26 years old. I had a lot to live for uh, and a lot to a lot of responsibility um, and I did not think that I would live through that trying time that I had. I'm Cindy Mann. Um, I had an aneurysm burst February 2014. Um, the, the Joe Negro Foundation is a wonderful source for both survivors and caregivers. Um, my main message to you is to not give up. Um, we all hit plateaus in our recovery. We just look for a different way to get around those. Um, I was told three months in the hospital, three months in rehab. I was back at work full time within three months walking, talking, driving because of perseverance. Just want to let you know that there is hope. You can be normal and don't give up. It's been three years since my surgery and it's been the most amazing, difficult, and rewarding journey I've ever been on. Before my surgery, my symptoms were headaches. Um, I had personality changes here and there. I was a little irrational and agitated. My mom sometimes just thought it was because I was in college and I had to deal with life and school, but it actually had to do with the bleed in my brain. And once the bleed got bigger, did I finally realize what was making me so sick. After the surgery, I had to relearn how to talk, how to sing, how to find out who I was again. And that journey was life-changing. And I just want to let anybody know, dealing with an aneurysm or AVM, to know that you're not alone. And there are other understanding minds and open hearts that are here for you waiting and if you know somebody dealing with the symptoms I've talked about, please just go get checked. You never know, you might be saving somebody you love. Thanks. I'd like to thank the emergency room doctor who saved my life. I had this massive headache. She asked on a scale one through 10, how big is the pain? I said, a 10. She ran several tests and she found nothing. She did not give up. Finally, after a spinal tap, she discovered that there was blood coming from my brain. She told me, had you not come in tonight, you may not have woken up. After 12 hours of surgery and months of recovering, I'm still here. I'm Monica Sauls. I am a corporate human resources leader, a book author, a speaker, a career coach, and I'm a brain aneurysm survivor.